Well, there's Blake. He's changed his name of his prospecting channel from Blue Dog Prospecting to Hopperoo. And kangaroo, there's his, kangaroo prospecting. Yeah, so there's his mascot. <laughs> his little mascot he saved from a, was a car accident or something, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, well, my mum just sort of abandoned her. Oh, yeah. We found her by herself. She just hung around the house. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. We her milk and... Nice warm place to sleep, and she just hangs around now. Yeah. Adventure. Smile for the camera. No, your camera shy. Yeah. <laughs> Little beauty. We're up here today with. Blake from Blue Dog Prospecting, Wayne McCleary, the Crouch, is here. Blake's got his little daughter up here, teach her how to do a bit of metal detecting. She's going to be the gun, she's going to find where the nuggets are today. Yeah. So we're going to have a bit of a dig here today. Place has been hammered pretty well as you can see. But, um, I'm going to have another go in the bit of this this um, bench here and just see if I can scratch out something out of here. All right, get back to you when I've got the uh, yellow in the bella. We've come down here and we're, I'm just going to dig back in there a bit, trying to shift that rock. I've got a bucket full of stuff I've dug off the top there, but I think that's just um, already been worked, that area, and this is probably what's collapsed in on top of it. But I'm going to run it through. You might get a floater in there, like a... Um, bit of flood going or something then I will attack those bigger rocks there and get in behind it on that bench we'll see how we go Blake's sort of there's starting that, here like a, there's that pace that pay layer again there yeah so we'll get in that see what we can find my project for today is to get in behind that boulder there Blake's just digging there, he got a nice show on his first pan. I got two specks in some stuff I dug out of down there where someone else has been digging. But if I can get in behind, I'm going to try and get in behind this boulder for the day. Shift it. That's project today and uh, see if I can get anything decent out of that. Alright, get back to digging. Like I said a minute ago, I've been digging there. Blake just had a scratch out of down there, his first um, pan, and uh, done well. See what he got out of that. It wasn't a bad showing. All right, mate, good stuff. The blue dog strikes again. <laughs> Crouch is still up there. He must be digging to China. Hope he's getting something. All right, I'll get back into this. Just call me Dozer Den. I've been in here digging like... Cleaned in there, I cleaned all that up up there. I'm gradually getting down to some good dirt. I haven't got anything out of that top stuff. You didn't expect to either. But I've scraped all that out in under there, into this bucket now. So I'll go down and pan it off and just see how I'll go. And... Uh, Hopefully I get a little bit like Blake got in his first pan. Make it worthwhile for all the effort I'm putting in here. Struck out on my second though. Yeah, he didn't give any good on his second pan, but that's life prospecting. Alright, I'll get back to you as if I um, get a two ouncer. Catch ya. <laughs>
Just came back from doing me other pans, and Blake had shifted this big rock for me. He's a good fella, young and strong, not like me. Anyway, I've been got in underneath there, and there's all the bedrock. He's just been busting up the layers of it, as you can see by that. I've been scratching off. It's sort of got puggy clay sort of stuff around it all. And anyway, I got the last big heaps off, and you can see in here that it's. Uh, it's this yellow clay sort of stuff, and it's, you'll see how deep it is. Uh, I'm not saying there'll be gold in it, because it was underneath the uh, layers of rock, so. But, it's worth a try. Clean all that out, and then I'll go down and pan it off and see what we got, eh? You can see I've cleaned all that out now. And I haven't swept it yet, but I thought if it's all pretty puggy clay sort of stuff it's on the bottom, so I'm just going to go down now and do this bucket and uh, see if there's anything in it. Because that's, uh, yeah, I've got a haven't got a lot, but I've got a couple of nice pick of some specks and things out of the uh, stuff on the top, that blacker sort of soil at the back there. All right, we'll see if there's anything in this um, bucket now. Well, we've just about filled a hole here. Layla's out there having fun. Blake's here, he's had fun. Crouch is over the fun. And that's what I got for the day. Not much for the digging I did, but... Not bad for three hours or so. Yeah, that'll be right. All right, that's it for the day. We'll go and see if we can get another spot. Well, we've come in here to have a bit of a look at some old um, house site here. Let's have a look around with the boys this morning and the little darling. Seen her here too. Uh -huh. The little darling and the crouch. And blue dog and we're wandering around here and um, we uh, come across these a setting of plover eggs but I'd say that they're probably no good because the plover's not attacking us like they normally would anyway it's interesting something different but we're looking around here at um, trying to get a few bearings and would have been here. All right, mainly come in the shades, the plug rigs. Yeah. Here we are up the top of the hill, looking back over the village. So we'd come up and have a look up here. We've seen a bit of dirt up in the hill here. It turned out to be a dam. Anyway, we've got to investigate these things. There too, Blake. And this one here, right in front of me. Beautiful country up here. Lovely. Alright, we'll head back. If you see that thick, the freshwater walrus out there, <laughs> what's it like? Good? Freezing! Beautiful! <laughs> is, it, is it cold? I've got to hear. <laughs> Alright, I've gone in for a swim and a bit of a dip and a bit of a wash. Been four days without a bath. We're starting to get nigger nigger new. Well, here we are. We'd have a look around this bedrock here. This one here, I had to get into it with the cold chisel. It was packed in that hard. I'm still trying to get it all out. So, a bit of a little bit of test pan around here, a bit of test sampling, and just see if we can get anything on this bedrock here. Now she comes around the corner here. Eh? <laughs> 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 
Yeah, as long as you get way over there. Yeah. Yeah. That's um, that hole cleaned right out. Not a speck in there. So we're moving. Crouch is uh, saying he just got six specks over there and he hasn't got to the bottom of the crevice yet. So that uh, might be the side to go it on. Um, I'll have a look in this crevice here. I'm cleaning it out. It's pretty tight packed down in there, but it's got a, that tree roots a bit running down in there. But anyway, I'll clean this crevice out here and then if I get nothing here, I'll go over the other side. Right on. Well, I thought I'd have a go behind this um, big rock here. I found that crevice went down in there into a little sump hole. So I flushed it out down into there, got uh, two little fly specks. Not worthwhile worrying about. So I'm going to go there with Crouchy's now. He seems beyond the money. He's either yahooing and cooing and cheering and carrying on. But I think he's only um, been out here for a couple of days and he's seen one speck of gold, so he's happy. All right, pack up and I'll head across there and have a go. <laughs> Got another speck? Good on him. I might. Ten. All right, I'll come over there. Well, I've been all around over there and back, and I finally come back to this crevice that I've been looking at for a couple of weeks. And I've been shying off it because of the size of the rocks in it, but um, I'm going to give it a go now. See what happens till it gets too hot out here on the rock. But uh, yeah, hopefully I'll get a little bit in it. But uh, just sort of packed in there a bit. Yeah. Best I've seen so far. Tried a few, not getting any good. Well, I've dug down there for about half a dozen specks. What I'm going to do now is throw some water in and wash it down. And I'm going to suck that out, probably up into there a bit, and into that where it V's off a bit because there's a couple of divots down in there. So suck that out, and that'll do for lunch. <laughs> well, I've washed out right up in there now, and the V's getting tighter, and it's sloping slightly down towards these. Um, pieces down here they've dropped off in little pockets. I've sucked it all out up to there, cleaned it all out, it's all in the bucket. I'm going down now to pan it off and see what I've got out of the bottom of that tight crevice. If nothing's in there, well we'll go to another spot another day. Well, another day this time on the river. Not as hard digging as that nugget creek, but um, yeah, cleaned all that out down there. Started to get up into that tight crack in there, but got a few specks, a couple of lead pellets. Thinking I'm going to get a bit more and wash it all down. Uh, too high up here, as Blake says, too high up in the river. Anyway, that's life, you've got to try it, that's prospecting, eh? Alright, catch us later and um, we're here for another couple of days so we'll just keep adding it on. Alright, see us.